Hi, welcome back to my No Name channel. I'm Bruce Bowman. Actually, my channel's name is Bruce Bowman. Um, and this is the first in uh, a series of talks, mm, lectures, but lecture sites kind of formal, um, maybe a course, um, about anthropology. Why anthropology? Because I'm an anthropologist. Uh, and I've been asked many times, what is anthropology? And why are you an anthropologist? What is anthropology? It's what anthropologists do. What are anthropologists? People that do anthropology. Simple, right? Ah, well, I'm going to, in this video, this is the first the introduction, uh, and I'm going to talk about what anthropology is, so that you've got a general idea. And then in subsequent videos, I'm going to talk about the different fields of anthropology, the history of anthropology, some famous anthropologists, the anthropological methods of, of work, and talk about some cultures that I've worked in and uh, videos that I have, things that I've learned, some books. Uh, so it's going to, it's going to cover a lot of what a traditional uh, anthropology course would cover, but short, so not as in, in as much depth. I like to keep uh, videos relatively short. I've done some really long ones. I can talk. Once I start talking, I can talk and talk. Um, I want to keep these down to mm, 15 minutes or less, uh, ideally. Um, I follow some videos where they're 40, 50 minutes, but mm, yeah, I want to keep them short. And so you can come in, you can you can do a, a quick listen while you're doing something else. Uh, there, I'm going to have images and videos on this as well. Um, reading, I'm going to suggest some books if you'd like to read uh, some anthropology books, but you don't have to read anything if you don't want to. You can just listen. And by the time we get done in, I don't know, 10, 15 videos, you'll get an idea of what anthropology is, what we do, and some, uh, some actual examples of uh, anthropology in action. And why am I talking about this? Well, I'm a cultural anthropologist. I have a PhD in anthropology from UC Berkeley, University of California, Berkeley. I uh, did my undergraduate a BA and MA, both uh, in anthropology from University of Illinois, which was at the time called University of Illinois Chicago Circle, and is now just called University of Illinois Chicago. Um, I guess it sounds better, who knows. Uh, so, let's get into um, what anthropology is. So, what is anthropology? Well, anthropology comes from Greek words, uh, anthropo, which means human beings, and logia, which means uh, knowledge of or the study of. So, the study of human beings. Now, anthropology used to be called the study of man, uh, but what about the other 50% or little more of the population? So, the study of humans, the study of humankind, that's anthropology. And there's some cool definitions, and uh, I'm going to put these definitions up here on the screen so you can see them. Um, I picked out some that I like, some because they're simple, some because they're uh, a little more inclusive of what we actually do, and then I have a favorite one out of this. So. Simple one from Triton College, and Triton College is uh, close to where I used to live uh, in Illinois. Uh, anthropology is the study of humans in all areas and in all periods of time. Ah, so, okay, nice and simple. Um, let's put these here. And um, Western Kentucky University. Anthropology is the study of human culture and biology in the past and present. And... Um, Eric Wolf, Eric Wolf, is a famous anthropologist, wrote some, some really uh, fascinating books. And he says, anthropology is less a subject matter than a bond between subject matters. It is part history, 
part literature, in part natural science, part social science. It studies, it strives to study men, both from within and without. It represents both a manner of looking at man and a vision of man, the most scientific of the humanities, the most humanist of the sciences. Uh, and if you heard the, the man in there. Uh, this was uh, written a long time ago. And from the uh, American Anthropological Association, mm, the biggest association of anthropologists in the U.S., anthropology seeks to uncover principles of behavior that apply to all human communities. To an anthropologist, diversity itself, seen in body shapes and sizes, customs, clothing, speech, religion, and worldview, provide a frame of reference for understanding any single aspect of life in any given community. Okay, a lot of definitions here. My favorite one comes from University of Louisville. Um, anthropology is at once both easy to define and difficult to describe. Its subject matter is both exotic, marriage practices among Australian Aborigines, and commonplace, the structure of the human hand. It focuses both sweeping and its focus, both sweeping and microscopic. Anthropologists may study the language of a tribe, of Brazilian Native Americans, the social life of the apes in an African rainforest, or the remains of a long vanished civilization in their own backyard. But there is always a common thread linking these vastly different projects, and always a common goal of advancing our understanding of who we are and how we came to be that way. In a sense, we all do anthropology because it is rooted in a universal human characteristic, curiosity about ourselves and other people, living and dead, here and across the globe. And that sums up pretty much how I feel about anthropology. Um, why did I become an anthropologist? Well, that's a long story. Maybe we'll get to it as we go through these, um, these talks. Mm, but one of them was certainly curiosity. Uh, curiosity about ourselves, myself, and other people. Um, okay, so um, it's a study of humans, uh, humankind. Wow, well, there's a lot of social sciences that study humans and humankind. Uh, psychology, sociology, geography, political science, economics, all of those study humans and human behavior. So what makes anthropology any different? Well, we're different because, as I like to say uh, when people ask me why I become an, became an anthropologist, uh, we can study everything. We're disciplined at bridges of natural sciences and the social sciences and the humanities. One of our most famous and influ influential anthropologist was Clifford Geertz. Um, he was as much a humanist as he was a, a social scientist. And Margaret Mead, arguably the most famous anthropologist ever to live, um, even now 40 years after her death. One of the things she used to do, she used to write a, a column for a red book, a woman's magazine. I remember reading it, um, my mom's uh, red book subscription. And so, we cover all of this area, and we have four fields, or subfields. Uh, some people call them subfields. I call them fields. When I first started studying anthropology 50 years ago, it was the four fields of anthropology, and I tend to kind of stick with that. So, uh, and this is in the American scheme. There's some little differences in uh, other countries. And so, what about them? Well, we've got physical or biological anthropology. And this is the bones field. Uh, if you ask people what anthropology is, most people don't really know. Some will say, bones, don't you guys study bones? Yeah, and there was actually a TV series um, in the U.S. called Bones, and it was about a woman who was an anthropologist. Um, and it was a kind of a mystery, murder mystery. Her, her guy she worked with was an FBI agent. Um, anyway, um, so uh, the answer is bones. Well, 
this subfield or this field uh, deals with evolution, human variation, genetics, the biological aspects of humans. And it has these subfields. So if we're going to call this a field, these are subfields. Biological anthropology, forensic anthropology, paleoanthropology, human anatomy, human taxonomy, paleopathology, primatology, ethology, population genetics, and human ecology. Wow, okay. Lots of space there for people to interest. Mm. That's number one field. Number two, archaeology. Indiana Jones, right? Everybody knows Indiana Jones. Uh, Indiana Jones was an exciting guy. He got to do cool stuff. He went cool places. He had a gun and a whip and a cool hat. Um, where's my Indiana Jones hat? I have it around. Uh, I'll wear it next time. And um, so this is a popular idea about it. Anthropology, and people will sometimes say, archaeology, is that anthropology? It's kind of like it, right? Well, it is. It's one of the fields of anthropology in the U.S., and it's a study of the past, although some archaeologists also study the future, uh, the present. Uh, and so, past civilizations, past languages, past cultures. Some definitions say that archaeology studies the material past, but when I was a young student, there was the new archaeology, and new archaeology was looking at the past and trying to reconstruct the behavior, the culture, uh, the mental processes that were going on, deriving those from the physical remains. Um, and that was really cool. Uh, I was going to become an archaeologist at one point, and I didn't, only because... Uh, I didn't really have the time to go out and do a lot of digging. Um, and I'll talk more about that when I describe archaeology. I'll have a whole uh, video about archaeology. And subfields of archaeology, prehistoric archaeology, historic archaeology, classical archaeology, demographic archaeology, biblical archaeology, maritime archaeology, which uh, I like to call marine archaeology, Underwater archaeology, urban archaeology, ethno-archaeology, industrial archaeology, cognitive archaeology, cultural resource management. So, again, you look and you can see how broad our field is. And so when I said you get to study everything, you get to study everything. Linguistics is the third field. And what sets us apart from other animals on the planet? Our ability to use symbols. Um, our ability to create, use, and understand symbols. Now, there's some arguments that, that uh, some animals can use symbols. Um, I don't quite buy that yet, but um, maybe I will. Uh, I don't know. What are the, uh, what are the, the subfields of linguistics? Structural linguistics, historical linguistics, phonology, the part I really hated about studying linguistics, morphology, I also didn't like that part, comparative syntax, ethnosemantics, cognitive linguistics, pragmatics, and sociolinguistics. And I love sociolinguistics, and I use sociolinguistics regularly. Um, as somebody who speaks a number of different languages, uh, sociolinguistics is part of how I look at the world. Um, and finally, the fourth field, cultural or social anthropology. What's the difference between cultural and social? That's another talk. Uh, so this is my field. What do we do? We study human societies and cultures around the world. Sometimes we study remote ones, um, small scale, what used to be called primitive uh, cultures. Sometimes we study our own culture. Uh, I've done both. Um, I've worked in traditional cultures, traditional is one of the words that I use for cultures, for small-scale cultures, so Papua New Guinea, uh, Native Americans, Bali, um, Pakistan. Well, Pakistan was a, a different uh, story. Um, so, I've done both anyway. And I, I wrote my senior honors thesis uh, on, it was an ethnography of a factory in Chicago. So, uh, I've I've done 
all of this. I'll talk about some of the cultures I've studied uh, as these videos go along. And my current research right now is digital uh, anthropology. And I'll talk more about digital anthropology later because it's really interesting. And especially in these coronavirus times, it's one way that a lot of anthropologists have to work. And so what are our subfields in cultural anthropology? Ecological anthropology, demographic anthropology, economic anthropology, political anthropology, legal anthropology, anthropology of religion, psychological anthropology, medical anthropology, urban anthropology, ethnomusicology. I know an ethnomusicologist right here in Bali, um, the brother-in-law of a friend of mine. Uh, anthropology of art, ethnopoetics, and uh, applied anthropology. And I kind of, applied anthropology, uh, I kind of put in out there somewhere. It's almost like a, a fifth field, but not really. Uh, and I'll try to explain that in more detail later. So, um, what, do I, what do I do? Um, out of all these subfields, uh, I do anthropology of art a little bit. Um, you can see some of the things I have here, paintings, masks, um, bags, nokens, uh, um, psychological anthropology, the anthropology of religion, um, marriage and family, and kinship. Uh, and I hated the kinship class when I was a student, but uh, once I got into the field, I found out how important it is. Um, and so, um, that's it for today. Um, I think by now you've got a general idea of what anthropology is. We study everything. Uh, and culture. And what is culture? And that's going to be uh, a th thread throughout all of these talks. And um, next one is on the history of anthropology. How did anthropology get started? And I'm going to talk a little bit, well, about physical anthropology or uh, biological anthropology in a little more detail to give you a little better idea of what that is. So if you're interested in studying anthropology, um, I hope that this is going to be helpful. Uh, if you just have a general interest in anthropology, same thing. Um, so uh, I hope you come back and uh, if you've got any comments, let me know. Um, always. Good to hear things, and uh, thanks for visiting. Stay safe. Be kind to someone today. Bye.